Welcome to second part of optical isomerism. Optically active compounds rotate the plane polarized light either to the right or to the left, clockwise or anticlockwise. If it is clockwise, it is dextrorotatory. If it is anticlockwise, it is levorotatory. And to measure the angle of rotation on standard basis, we use specific rotation. Now, question is, what is the cause of optical activity? Why the substances rotate the plane polarized light and some substances cannot rotate? Necessary condition for a molecule to show optical activity is dissymmetry. Dissymmetry means which is not symmetrical. Means the molecule which does not have element of symmetry. What are elements of symmetry? Plane of symmetry. Second is center of symmetry. And third one is alternating axis of symmetry. The molecule which does not have any of them plane of symmetry, center of symmetry or alternating axis of symmetry are optically active compounds. So that molecule is dissymmetric molecule and show optical activity means that can rotate the plane polarized light. Now we discuss one by one. First is plane of symmetry. Let us take the case. This is tartaric acid. So in tartaric acid, you know, if we draw a plane at the middle of the molecule, it divides the molecule into two equal halves. So what is plane of symmetry? The plane which divides the molecule into two equal halves. That is called plane of symmetry. And the molecule which has plane of symmetry is optically inactive compound. It cannot rotate the plane polarized light. This molecule cannot rotate the plane polarized light. But if we write it like it has no plane of symmetry because if we draw the plane you know, this is OH, H. This part of the molecule is not equivalent to the other part. That's why there is no plane of symmetry and it is optically active compound because it has no symmetry. Normally, people start looking at the chiral center. Now, what is chiral center? Chiral center or chiral carbon is the carbon which is attached to four different atoms or groups. In this case, you see, this carbon is attached to all the four different groups. This carbon is also attached to four different groups. So this molecule has two chiral carbons, two chiral carbons, but as it has plane of symmetry, therefore it is optically inactive. So presence of chiral carbon doesn't mean that molecule is optically active. So what is chiral carbon? Carbon attached to four different atoms or groups. Now, Remember, the molecule has only one chiral carbon that has again no plane of symmetry. So that molecule, for example, this is carbon attached to four different 
groups. This is chiral carbon. This molecule is optically active. This is chiral compound and this one is a chiral. Chiral, a chiral. Chiral which has dissymmetry, only one chiral carbon, then it is dissymmetric. No element of symmetry, no second element of symmetry is center of symmetry. So what is center of symmetry? Center of symmetry can be explained by taking an example of cyclobutane. In cyclobutane, if we substitute atoms like H, H, Cl, Cl, COOH, H, H, COOH. Now see, this is center of the molecule. A center of symmetry exists when a line is drawn from an atom or group to this point and extended beyond this point and it meets identical atoms. That is called center of symmetry. Now see, H, H are symmetrical. Cl, Cl, Cl. Again symmetrical. COOH, COOH. R symmetrical. What is left? H and H. H, H. Again. So they are all symmetrical. So this molecule is said to have center of symmetry and it is optically inactive. And usually the center of symmetry exists in those molecules which have even numbered carbon atom in the ring. One more example. like this molecule HCl HCl there is no center of symmetry this is cis isomer but when we draw its trans isomer this is trans now see this carbon this carbon 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 they are symmetrical this Cl Cl, H, H. They are all symmetrical about this point. Therefore, this, is, this molecule contains center of symmetry. This molecule has no center of symmetry. One unusual example is shown by the molecule. Let us take a case. CO NH NH CO H CL CL H This molecule CO CO are symmetrical about a point NH NH are also symmetrical CL CL again symmetrical H H Again, hydrogen to this point and when we extend it further, we meet the same atom. So that means this molecule has center of symmetry. And the molecule which has center of symmetry are optically inactive. They are achiral molecules. Third element of symmetry is alternating axis of symmetry. So, what is alternating axis of symmetry? An axis about which a molecule is rotated at 360 by n followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the axis. If we get identical molecule, then molecule is said to possess alternating axis of, axis of symmetry.
and the molecules having alternating axis of symmetry are again optically inactive a chiral molecule but this one is rare so no need to discuss this one